So we just finished doing this one. So again, that was a no. We shaded this side because here is my point zero zero. So I need to shade the other side. You guys are gonna do the exact same thing. For example, two, five, you're going to move this X over, divide by a negative two. Um, remember, since you're dividing by a negative, your sign does switch. Find your slope and your y-intercept. Is it dashed or is it solid? Figure out your shading by using um, 0 0.00. So that's how we do example five. Flip over. You're not doing example seven. And we're just finishing up with this side. So looking at question one, I will do question one. This one will be for homework. And then you guys will do this one for homework. So what am I doing? Shade the, the correct region of each line below. So I have Y is greater than one fifth X plus three. All I wanna know is again, zero, zero, and then for you guys, zero, zero. So plug in zero is greater than, we don't care about this guy, and we care about the three. So is zero greater than three? Again, use your Pac-Man. Is Pac-Man eating the bigger one? No, Pac-Man is not eating the bigger one. So am I gonna shade in the zero? No, I'm gonna shade the other side. So then you guys do the exact same thing on this side. For question two, All you're doing, first shade this, all right? And then I want you guys to plot these points. So I want you to plot one, two, three, one, two, three, here's A. B is here. C, one, two, three, four, five, one. D, one, two, one, two, three. And then finish off the rest. And then first you need to figure out the shaded region. So zero is greater, is less than or equal to three. Again, we don't care about this guy because it multiplies to zero. And since we're dealing with this guy, is zero this point right here? bigger am i eating the bigger number yes so we should be shading this side right here so i want to know by highlighting which ones are part of my solution so so far a b c and d all of them and even d even b since it's on the line are part of my solution so i'm going to Highlight that one, highlight that one, highlight that one, and highlight that one. So I did half, now you do the rest, and see which ones are part of your solution and are not. If it's not part of the solution, then don't highlight it, if, or fill it in. If it is, then fill it in. And that's it, that's part of your homework, and that's it for today. Talk to you guys later, bye.